long time since I've done a favorites roundup video, so I'm gonna share some of my favorite skincare products today for your face and your body. I'm also gonna share some products that I've emptied and just give my general thoughts on them. I've been really loving these, so let's just get started. I'm gonna start off with skincare for the face first, and I have here Pharmacy's Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I've talked about this before, and I still love it so much. I always go back to this one. It is just so gentle and easy, and I love the texture of this. I just apply like a small dollop onto my hands and then directly onto my face, my dry face, and it just melts everything off your makeup, oils, SPF. It does it so quickly and so easily. I actually look forward to removing my makeup with this balm. It just makes it so much more fun. Next, I'm gonna talk about the Summer Fridays Super Amino Gel Cleanser. I've completely emptied this bottle. I actually use a different cleanser at night and in the morning because I have one on my bathroom counter and one in the shower. It also allows me to test you know, a couple cleansers at the same time. So this is my nighttime cleanser that I use in the shower. They've actually changed the packaging and formula of this, so it doesn't come in a bottle anymore, it comes in a tube. And because I've emptied the bottle, I can't really show you how it works, but it's got a gel consistency, it's really gentle, it foams really nicely, it doesn't feel dry after I use it. It has amino acids and it's also pH balanced. If you like gel cleansers, I would recommend trying this one. I have no complaints about it, it was really nice. and. I completely emptied it. Next is an absolute favorite cleanser of mine. It is the Super Egg Gentle Elements Cleanser. This is a foaming cream cleanser. It has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid to help brighten, hydrate, and resurface your skin. I love the texture of this. It's very silky and milky. I love how it feels on the skin. It just feels like a really good, clean wash. It truly feels so hydrating on the skin. I look forward to using this every morning. If you don't care so much about the texture consistency of your cleanser, then I would definitely go with this one. If you like more gel-based ones, then I would again, I would recommend this one. I just love this cleanser so much and I have a backup ready for this already. This is the Kate Somerville Liquid Exfoliate Triple Acid Resurfacing Treatment. This I have also completely emptied. This is a leave-on chemical exfoliant that helps to remove dead skin cell buildup. I apply this onto a cotton round and then just sweep it across my face. It really helped to smooth out the texture of my skin and it did tingle a little bit when I applied it so it might not be the best for sensitive skin. I still felt like it was pretty gentle for me. I actually gave a bottle to my friend to use and he has more sensitive skin than I do and he actually really liked this for his skin texture as well. I'm so sorry about this lighting. The sun, the window, I thought this was a good place to sit and now I'm like questioning my decision. Um, but anyway, let's move on to eye creams. I have two here to share with you that I love so much. The first one is from Hourglass. This is their Equilibrium Intensive Hydrating Eye Balm. This helps with fine lines, wrinkles, puffiness, and it also supports the skin barrier. Absolutely loved the texture of this. It just felt super hydrating and moisturizing, and it just felt so like supported there, especially because I try a lot of eye makeup looks. I've been wearing more mascara. Having that extra support there is so important to me, and this really did that. I just loved how moisturizing it felt. The next eye cream I have is from First Aid Beauty. This is their eye duty niacinamide brightening cream. This also helps with fine lines and wrinkles, dark circles, puffiness, and it has this pearlescent pink color to it. And I love this so much because you can see the brightening results immediately. It just instantly makes your eye area glow. I was shocked when I first used it. I think this would also be great right before your makeup application because it adds such a nice shine underneath your eyes. It also hydrates the rest of my eyes, like my eyelids and all that, so love it. It's great. This is the Lash Food Eyelash Enhancing Serum and I've been using this to help support my lashes. Because I've been wearing more mascara, I wanted something that would help them grow and protect them. My lashes have never been longer or more full. This is a vegan cruelty-free formula. It's certified clean at Sephora. You can also use this with your lash extensions if you have them. And I love that this doesn't stain my eyes or leave like a dark residue or mark over them like some other lash serums can too. So I highly recommend this if you're looking for a clean lash serum. Next, I have the serum from Clay. This is their Radiant Skin Ceramide with 4% ceramide concentrate. And I completely emptied this. I even tried to use the 
tube thingy from the bottle to get any leftover bits of it. It's got this milky, silky consistency to it. It felt so good putting onto my skin and I feel like it really helped the texture of my skin to really smooth it out. My skin started to feel like the softness of this serum. It just felt so good to put this on every single time. And my skin also just looked so glowy and hydrated after using this. I wrote some notes down because I knew I would forget. This is an anti-aging formula, has antioxidants, amino acids, hyaluronic acids, and of course, ceramides, which are natural fatty acids that are part of your skin barrier. So this helps to hydrate your skin, keep it plump, and protect your skin from the outside environment like pollution, UV rays. I have a couple sunscreen next which is so funny and ironic because I keep having to move because of the sun the first one is from Zitstika this is their mega shade sunscreen serum with SPF 50 I love that this was made for acne prone and sensitive skin I still get breakouts around the bottom half of my face probably from maskne maybe from stress and hormones but I love the thought that this is helping with that I just love how elegant the sunscreen is it makes it really fun and enjoyable to apply I use one full dropper sometimes two because I use it on my face Face, my neck and my chest area and because it's a sunscreen serum it's a bit more watery than other sunscreens which makes it easier to apply and I feel like it absorbs really quickly I just love the concept of this it's so cute <laughs> this is another sunscreen I started using this year it's the super goop glow screen with SPF 40 and PA++ I actually really loved their original version of this that one had more of a gel texture to it and acted as a makeup primer this also can act as a makeup primer but the texture is a bit more watery or creamy it goes on really well still it's not as thick as other sunscreens what I love about this is that it's iridescent it almost acts like a really light bronzer it gives your skin a really beautiful glow so you can wear this alone or underneath makeup it looks amazing both ways I can't talk about skincare favorites without mentioning the Sola Sue first care activating serum I know I've talked about this a bunch of times but it truly is one of my favorites it's a staple in my skincare routine I'll talk about it really quickly I love how hydrating it is I love how it just makes my skin look so radiant and I love that it increases the efficacy and absorption of my next skincare products that I use after this. They just updated the formula on this and I love that they continue to improve upon it and just make it better and love. Love it. Okay, that's it for skincare. Let's move on to body care next. I'm actually really excited to talk about these products because I feel like I don't focus on a lot of body products and that's because I didn't really take care of the skin on the rest of my body. I was so concerned with my face um, because I feel like that's the first thing people see you know when you're dealing with acne also I pretty much neglected the rest of my body like I put like five products on my face and then nothing on my body so within this past year I really wanted to focus on that and just think about hydrating and moisturizing my skin on everywhere else <laughs> I want to talk about body washes first in order of use this is the Kosas good body skin AHA plus enzyme exfoliating wash this is a gel cleanser that you can use every day to help unclog pores and brighten your skin there is a slight fragrance to it but I can't really pinpoint what it is I love this because it just feels really smooth on my skin it lathers really well another favorite body wash of mine is from Necessaire this is their multivitamin body wash and I love their sandalwood version because it's got that muskiness fragrance to it that I just love like a clean musk <laughs> um, this one is the fragrance free one and I love that this is just really gentle especially if you want to get into those more private sensitive areas this has niacinamide in it vitamin C and E and omegas just great ingredients to help brighten your skin and it also lathers really nicely it's just so elegant like I love the packaging and design of this it just Makes it so fun to use too. We're going into body moisturizers next. I have these two from Sol de Janeiro. The first one is their Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is a cream you can use all over your body, not just on your butt. It helps smooth your skin and also gives it a really nice shimmer. When I first used this, I actually thought the fragrance and the smell was way too strong. Like it was just too much. It was very overpowering. But the more I used it, the more I came to really love the smell. I get compliments on this all the time. It's got the kind of smell that lasts really naturally 
all day. It's a warm and sweet smell, and I describe it as coconut, but it's actually vanilla, I think. Like the keynotes are vanilla, caramel, and pistachio. This also has a really thick texture to it, so it can be a bit hard to apply. Like you really have to spread it. So I know some people mix this with oils or other moisturizers. Someone told me they apply it right before they dry off so that it kind of mixes in with the water and absorbs better. I just apply it directly because I love it so much. But if you wanna be more cost effective, then definitely mix it in with something else so that you can get the smell and the benefits without you know, going through a tub of this. So I feel like this isn't for everyone because of all of those things that I just said. There's a strong smell to it. The texture is very thick. If you're not into that, this might not be for you but I freaking love it. I also got sent there a Bomb Dia Bright Cream. I loved this so much too. It has AHAs and vitamin C. It's a retexturizing body cream and this did wonders for me. This smells a little bit different. It's also very warm, but I would say it's more of like a fruity sweet. So the keynotes are black amber plum, vanilla woods, and jasmine. I would say this texture is even thicker than the bum bum cream, so it's even harder to spread on the body. Both of these made such a difference on my skin, but I would say the one that had the bigger impact is the Bomb Dia Bright Cream. I just felt like my skin was softer, smoother, and yeah, brighter. I just love the scent of this one way more. If I were to choose the one that had the most impact, not based off of the smell and fragrance alone, I would go for this one. For sure. I want to talk about the Kate McLeod Body Stones next. This is a brand that launched earlier this year. It's something new that I've tried, though I've been seeing the concept of this floating around, um, like more products like this. You can buy a reusable bamboo canister with it if you want. It's all very sustainable and it comes wrapped in a muslin cloth, but this is what it looks like. It looks like a bar of soap. This is made from cocoa butter. It's in a solid at room temperature. To use it, you need to warm it up first between your hands and then you can apply it all over your body. It just kind of melts into your body. This is the sleep stone, but I had the body stone before, which I think I like a little bit more. There are a few other versions of this. They have the grounding stone, naked, mama, and sex stone. So I'll link everything down below if you wanna look more into it. This I really loved. It did take me a while to get around to using it and really appreciating it because it's so different from what I used and because it's like cocoa butter it is kind of oily it takes a while to absorb so you do need to be a little bit careful around your clothes or your furniture like I think especially on my couch like I had to make sure I didn't stain it with the oil so I typically try to use this right before bed so that I can just hop in my sheets and it's much easier to wash my bed sheets that it is to clean this couch. I used to use this all over my body, but now I like using it more on just really dry areas. Um, I started using this more on my feet because the bottoms of my feet were getting so cracked and dry. It was gross, it was bad. I was getting really insecure about it. And I started using this consistently like every night and it just made my feet so freaking smooth and maybe like about a month or so of like consistently using it. I also would apply this on my feet and then put socks on so I could walk around the house without getting oil everywhere, but also I feel like it just really locked in the moisture. Um, I don't do that anymore because it's freaking hot, like I can't go to bed with socks on, but this wonders. I'm definitely not gonna show close-ups of my feet because uh, I don't like showing my feet like that and for free, no, no, no. <laughs> I also use things on my knees and my elbows and my elbows are so freaking smooth because of this i cannot believe it definitely look into it if you're interested do your research to see if you would like something like this um because for me it did take a while to like come around to like oh yeah, I love it. My last favorite is from First Aid Beauty. This is their Ultra Repair Cream. This is really hydrating. It's good for sensitive skin. It's great for eczema and for parched skin. I feel like this is the thing you turn to in like really dire emergencies. It's just a really gentle, clean, no fuss moisturizer, no scent. It's super easy. I like using this if I wanna wear a specific perfume after. I remember I kept getting like a little rash over my eye and one of my friends had suggested using a First Aid Beauty moisturizer and it made that rash go away. Like I was getting it on and off and right when I used the First Aid Beauty moisturizer, it just 
gone. So those are all of my current favorite skincare products. The sun is pretty much almost going down. So I'm trying to wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed this video and found something that you like that you want to try. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.